On today's episode of Video Marketing Madness, we're going to discuss the new YouTube Live app that's out to get Facebook Live and Periscope and how you can even make money with it. So this is YouTube Live Strikes Back. And today's episode is made possible by freevideoeditor.co. Are you looking for a video editor that you want to have all that great editing stuff that you don't have right now? Well, head on over to freevideoeditor.co and you can grab our free video editor, do three-point editing, green screen, transitions, all that fun stuff that a high-end editor normally does. And so with that, let's hit the music. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at, even if he's a little fat. He's filled with video expertise, and has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy, yeah, Ray the Video Guy. And it's the radio show about video, Video Marketing Madness with Ray the Video Guy. And I'm Steve Sleeper on the Earn.Show radio network. And yes. we've got a Facebook page and a Twitter with lots of great info. And uh, we upload the video to YouTube and Blog Talk Radio uh, has that the audio. And so it's it's all very, very good. Yeah, it's I'm, all I'm fun looking and forward games. to this. It's all fun and games. I'm looking forward to this uh, talking about YouTube Live. Uh, th- I think it was it yesterday it came out or the day before. Uh, it was in the last couple of days. I think it might have been three days ago, but it might have been two okay. days. I don't lose, I lose track of time now. But it was yeah. just in the last couple of days. But yeah, it's uh, you know obviously YouTube has been in the live streaming game for years now. But of course, you had to do it with a desktop, and it was very high end. It was complex, and you had to get stream keys and you know the right equipment, and it was a big fat pain in the neck. Well, of course, programs like Periscope and Meerkat came along and you just click a button and you go live. And, of course, Facebook has jumped in on that as well. And uh, so now YouTube is striking back by bringing that same type of functionality to their platform. And uh, I've got some good news and some bad news for you. One, it's really, really good. And you can even make money with it. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. And uh, Steve, you kind of got the Max Headroom thing going on on the video stream here. Not again. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, it is. As long as we it. can hear you, that's all that matters. But uh, hey, I, I do not compute. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know who, if you know who Max Headroom is, give me a yes if you're watching this live in the, in the chat. That would be great. All right. So the one thing about this, now we talked about the positive, which is that it's a very, very good live streaming app. But there is one negative. You must have 10,000 subscribers. If you don't have 10,000 subscribers, you won't have this yet. And everyone else will have it soon, but you won't have it yet. Uh, The other day, we actually did some tests with it. We actually did a Facebook Live showing off the YouTube Live during the Facebook Live. And it was, uh, it was really neat. So if you haven't seen that, check out my my Facebook streams. You'll be able to find it in there uh, where we talk about that. And uh, it's, it's very cool. We're able to show exactly how it works, and, and it was a very nifty program. But what it does is it's very similar to uh, Facebook Live. In fact, it, it looks very similar when you do it. But basically, all you do is you use your current YouTube app. When you open up your YouTube app, make sure that you're logged into one of your channels, preferably a channel that has 10,000 subscribers. And when you click the little button that allows you to do a video inside of the Facebook app, it'll now give you the option, if you have enough subscribers to do live or to record a video. So you'll have both of those options in there. When you hit live, just like with the other ones, all you need to do is type in the information about what it is and uh, hit live. And there you go. And it's going to pop out there. And, uh, you know, like I said, we did a quick little test the other day and immediately we did have some people on. So people were watching it live. Um, Mm -hmm. I was only a couple, but, you know, we were only on for a few seconds. But a few people caught it and and did jump on that. But I think it could be a very, very big platform and a very big uh, addition to all these wars. Now, what does that mean for Periscope? Well, uh, it probably doesn't mean anything good for Periscope, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, for these others, it's great. And the cool thing is when you're doing the YouTube Live, you still have your options like private or unlisted or public so that you can get people on there or choose not to. You can decide whether or not the uh, the video will remain after it's over. So much like Periscope, you can have it disappear afterwards or with Snapchat where the video disappears. 
So that's uh, another positive in there is, uh, is, is the fact that it can go away if you choose to have it go away, but it can also stay. Now, the one interesting thing about this, and I have to play around with it a lot more to figure out, is in one of the demo videos I saw, the, uh, the folks were actually able to do their live video in, uh, in, in uh, landscape mode, but when I tried to do it, it was just sideways. So <laughs> I only had portrait for some reason. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if there's a setting or, or something. I'll have to figure that out. I haven't had much of a chance to play with it since the other day, but that's what I discovered. But supposedly it allows you to do uh, the uh, portrait, uh, excuse me, the landscape mode. So you can do 16 by 9 widescreen, which is fun. So. Okay. Steve. You're gonna hate you're gonna hate me, but I was texting my wife to tell her to get out of Pandora, so I, I'm still doing the max headroom. <laughs> hey, that's okay. We don't as long as we can hear you. That's all that really. Well, matters. that People that's all that really counts. So, I got a droid. Okay, so I go in there and do yep. I hit? The, did you say hit the Facebook app? No, I I probably did. I didn't mean to if I did, but oh, okay. no. When okay. when you open up your YouTube app, so the the one that you would oh, watch okay. YouTube videos with, there should be a a button in there, and, and Android may be slightly different. It looks like a little camera, and it allows you to either record a video, and if you've got enough viewers, or if you've got enough uh, uh, of a following, you get 10,000 or more, you can also choose Facebook. Uh, Facebook. I keep saying Facebook. I'm so used to that. You can also okay. choose to go live on YouTube as well. And then, uh, so those are your two options in there. So you'll have okay. both okay. of those. Very now, good. there is something really exciting about this that I think people will really like. Now, aside from the fact that you can go live, there's ways for you to actually make money. Um, and I can see, let's see, uh, sorry, somebody's sending a message about it. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that afterwards. Um, anyway, I thought that was a message on the, on the radio show, but we'll, we'll deal with that one later. All right, so okay, okay. What, uh, what you can do is you can actually make money by going live. And the way this works is actually... Very interesting, but also a little bit scary in, in some ways. And the way this works is, let's say that I go live and I've got a large audience of 100,000 people. And a whole bunch of these people are on my YouTube live stream as I'm doing this. Well, let's say that uh, one person wants to really get my attention during the live. Maybe they've got something important they want to say. They can pay money to have their comment get sticky on the page. And it'll be a different color and it'll stand out. So I can see as all the, you know, as people are commenting, the comments are going to scroll by. And that one will boop uh, right on, front on, and center and stay there. On your live video. On your live. Oh, only, only I'll see it. And if you're, well, actually, I shouldn't even say that. I, I'm not sure if people watching on, the, on their phones will see it or not. But I know if they're watching on the website, they'll definitely see it. In fact, I'm. In fact, I'm pretty sure they'll see it on the, the app as well, either way, whether they're watching or, or, or you're recording. And it just gets your attention, and it stays up there for a certain amount of time. So for a dollar, it might stay up there for 10 seconds. For $10, it might stay up there for 30 seconds or, or what have you. Now, there is some, some potential issue with this because, obviously, if I want to go in and watch a, a YouTube Live, I could say, hey – check out my awesome product here and, and put a link and, and pay to do that. Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can't even put a link. I haven't looked at that part of it enough to, to really know, but I can see the potential for some spam going on there. But people do have to pay, and if they're going to spam you anyway, you might as well get paid for it. So, so when they pay the dollar, you get a percentage, and YouTube gets a percentage. So so you're, you're, you're doing a live video on yep. a new YouTube widget. And I, 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 I want to sell my YouTube widget, so I pay you to run my comment. Uh, on my YouTube widget. Kind right? of, basically, yeah. You, you just write a comment, you choose to pay, you choose oh, an amount, and it I just see. goes. You, you don't have to ask me, you don't have to deal with me, nothing. Um, you know, the, the, the examples they use are, you know, you're, 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 you're dealing with a, a very big YouTuber and you really want to get their attention about something, you know, and people would pay money for that. Um, and, you know, it's also a way to just to pay back to people too. So if they're providing you with content that you really like, you could go in and you could pay them $10 and it would, you know, just have a thing that says, hey, you do such a great job. I love your stuff. Here's $10 or whatever. But I okay. do see the potential for, you know, uh, a, a channel like mine where maybe I'm talking about, you know, uh, the latest Facebook plugin or something and somebody puts in another Facebook plugin, pays $5 to have it up there with a clickable link that goes to it. And again, I don't know if there's clickable links. I, I have to look at it more carefully to find out. But I do see the potential for some spam in there. So we just have to keep an eye on that. But. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, the other thing is, now, obviously, uh, for those of you who, who watch a lot of our episodes or listen to a lot of our episodes, you know that I'm very, very big on Facebook Live uh, or just live streaming in general. And I'm also big on YouTube Live now, so this is going to be exciting. Um, but one thing I wanted to share is the other day, I got to witness a new plugin or I got to – I'm working with somebody on a new plugin that allows you to put – your Facebook live feed on your website. And so now when you go live, and we're not doing this right now, so there's no place to to go to for it. We're just testing it. But basically when you go live, immediately your website detects, okay, they just went live, puts the video on your page wherever you choose. So you might have a page called raythevideoguide.com slash live. And whenever you go live, that live video will be right there on the page for people to watch and like and, and whatnot. And then you can also put archives. So afterwards, you can have an archive of all your past live videos below it. If you're not live, it'll tell you right on there, we're not currently live. Please check back soon or or whatever you want to put in there. And the other cool thing is when you go to the website in general, you can have a banner up at the top of the page that says, you know, we are currently live, you know, and they can click and, and go and listen, watch your live video. So it's a very, very slick plugin. We're working on that right now. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think it could be a, a very big deal if we can get uh, everything in line the way we want. So I'm really excited. Um, you know, last year was kind of the year of live. This year, I think, is really the year of live because now we've got some really mature live players with YouTube jumping in now in their new app. And we've got, of course, the... Uh, Facebook Live, which is already there. So it'll be interesting to see what Facebook does to kind of uh, fight back with this. It it should be very interesting to watch these two battle it back and forth. Uh, And with YouTube, you know, I mean, uh, will people watch you live? Like I said, we did the live for a few seconds. A couple people did jump on, so it did get watched. But, you know, are you going to get dozens or hundreds of people? I don't know. It, It remains to be seen. Some people certainly are. And the ones that are, they're working very hard to say, hey, we go live every Wednesday at noon. And so people go, they know that it's going to be there. So uh, just some very interesting stuff going on in the world of live video. And it'll be interesting to see if uh, any of the others fight back. So, you know, now we've got a, a, a an entire contingent of live video places. So we've got YouTube Live. We've got Facebook Live. We've got Periscope. We've got Instagram. We've got Snapchat. So all of these places allow you to do live video. And it'll be very, very interesting to see what happens over the next few months. So there you go. Indeed. Now, with YouTube, as far as now, yeah, no, this is uh, interesting stuff. With with YouTube, what I'm assuming is if you go live unannounced, your subscribers are going to find out about. Yes, it. they will be. They yeah. will be notified that that yeah. you are live. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But unlike and, and, unlike and, and, Facebook, and, you know, people aren't. It, it's not going to be as right in your face. I don't think. And maybe they're going to yeah. work on that to change that. But you know, Facebook's usually or YouTube's not usually as in your face as Facebook when it comes to that. So it'll be interesting to see how it works. Well, yeah, and Facebook is more. I'm scrolling through to see what's going on, and uh, you know, I, I uh, was probably a little more active than YouTube. Whereas you, you know, as far as a social media platform, you know, that you're scrolling through and look, looking at a news feed or a timeline on, uh, whereas uh, YouTube, you're going to look for a specific video. Um, you know, uh, cats dancing on pianos. And uh, uh, however, I, you know, uh, I do get notices when you post something there, you know. No, oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. And and if you said, I'm going to do a show every Thursday at noon on um, YouTube widgets, you know, uh, people will join for that. I can how many, subscri- see. How many subscribers, just out of curiosity, how many YouTube subscribers you got? Uh, Is that I, like- you know what? I'm not even sure. I just know it's over 10,000 because I've got the little app. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's. I don't know if that's like asking a farmer how how many acres of land he owns, because that's like asking him how much money they make. I found out. So yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that until I married a farmer's daughter. They think I'm an idiot anyhow, so I haven't done anything to well, dissuade them of that. <laughs> well, there you go. That's the new YouTube Live app. If you have 10,000 subscribers, be sure to log in into that channel that has those. And you'll be able to pull it down. Now, if you've got more than one channel, you have to be in the one that has 10,000. You don't get it for all your channels just because one has 10,000. You have to be on the channel that has 10,000 or more subscribers. And you can play with it and check it out. So there you go. Okay, very cool. Hey, Mindset Matters. Mindset Matters. Absolutely. Are we ready? And I I still haven't changed it to the the MP3, so we'll see if it delays at all. And now, Mindset Matters. Okay, so for today's Mindset Matters, I'm going to talk about something that uh, 
It was a little bit different and a little bit weird for some people, I think. And if you haven't seen this, uh, it may surprise you. It's something that's been around for a few years, but I finally took the time to uh, to listen to the audiobook version of this, and that is The Secret. And I know many of you have heard of The Secret back a few years ago. It's all about uh, attraction and... Uh, you know, the law of attraction and how things will be brought to you through your mindset and everything else. Well, you know, it's a little strange. There's no doubt about it. And if you're, if you're reading it, it might be okay. When you're listening to it, they play a lot of weird sitar music and, you know, you expect incense to be burning. But the information is actually very, very interesting. And uh, I've started to kind of follow some of the things that they're doing in there. They talk a lot about spirituality. They talk a lot about uh, getting your mindset right and putting yourself in line for the things that you want. And it's a lot of the same stuff that people like uh, Napoleon Hill talked about, although he talked about it in a much more analytical way, whereas these guys are a little more metaphysical with it. But the point being, it's it's a lot of the same type of stuff, and it's very, very good. So if you have a chance, I highly recommend you check it out. It's on Audible. You can get the movie. You can also get it on, on uh, Kindle. So any place you want, any bookstore will have it. It is called The Secret. Most of you have probably heard of it, but you should check it out. It's actually pretty darn good, surprisingly so. so cool. Yes. And it's the radio show about video, Video Marketing Madness with Ray the Video Guy. I'm Steve Sleeper. It's the Earn Dot Show Radio Network. And today's show made possible by... Made possible by freevideoeditor.co. Are you looking to start doing high-end video editing and Windows Movie Maker's just not cutting it for you anymore? Well, now you've got a free option that's going to give you all the high-end tools you've ever wanted, such as three-point editing, green screen, transitions, all that other fun stuff, 3D text, text on your videos, lower third, whatever it is you want to do, you can do it with freevideoeditor.co. Leave off the last M4 Martian. All right, and with that, that brings to the end another episode of Video Marketing Madness. So for Steve, I'm Ray, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Let's hit that music. Music. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, I'm Ray the Video Guy. His skill is where it's at. Even if he's a little fat, he's filled with video expertise. And has so much knowledge that you need. His YouTube ninja tricks can make your marketing so sick. He's Ray the Video Guy. Yeah, Ray the Video Guy.